Good afternoon guys, welcome to Mike's Miniature Motorland. Today, not much of a day outside, so I've done a reconfigure of my track layout again. It must be about the 20th or 30th version of it. Um, I love the idea of a wooden track, but this plastic track with the ability to change it all the time is absolutely great. So going to start out and do a few laps for us today. Um, this is one of my favourite cars. It's a sideways um, forward to three. Um, one of the cars we race here, group five cars. Um, I just love this one. It, it goes really good. It handles nicely and um, yeah, it's a great car. I'll also show you what I do on this one. This one's got a, um, a slotted motor in it. It also runs the um, slotted pod in here. Um, I prefer these, they seem to run better. Um, it's got some staffs alloy wheels on it, which looks absolutely fantastic and makes it go really good. So I'll do a few more laps and then I'll um, jump into a different car. Thanks for watching. Wait for your comments. Um, I run a um, I run a slotted SP2 controller here. Um, I, I like them. We can um, do all sorts of um, adjustments on them to get them just just right how we want them. Most of the guys that race here will agree with me on that one. They seem to be um, pretty competitive price availability and easy enough for most people to use and um, get the best out of them. I haven't got my lap timer set up yet because this is just the first couple of laps with this new layout. Um, yeah, we'll find out on Monday night when we get a proper race night here. But this is a beautiful lap here. A bit tight down this end, flowing down there, and it tightens up under the bridge and a slightly uphill on the main straight here. That's pretty good. So we just change cars now. I um, like this little Corvette, it's a little Ninko. It's had a bit of a hard life. Um, yeah, I bought it second hand. It's missing a few bits and pieces. Um, it runs really nice. It's got a um, Ninko speeder in it. Um, I just put some new wheels and tyres on the back of it. Uh, we, we run MJK tyres here. They seem to run the best on this plastic track. So um, yeah, I'll do a few laps of this one for you and see how it goes. Nice day for a convertible, inside the shed, on the track, outside it's just a bit rain and quite cold, so it's a great feeling. We race this as a um, classic V8 classing, um, people run all sorts of things here on this track, but I think this is pretty cool. For, a, for a, um, an old Minto car it's pretty cool. Next up, we'll race this. Um, this is a one of the modern modern SCXs. The modern SCX. I really like this lay um, livery, the Black Falcon. Bit of a favourite of mine. Um, it goes really well. Oh, bit of dust and dirt under there from the building going on. Um, yeah, it goes really well. I had to put a bit of um, tape across the back back there because it was pretty loose. Um, I've modified to have a different sort of a guide in it. I don't like the SCX guides. Um, put a solid front axle in it. I don't like the independent wheels. So um, we'll do a few laps of that one and see how that goes. Nice and smooth, this one. Not particularly fast, but yeah, a great car to drive. Hopefully um, it'll stick with the rest of the guys when we run our standard GTs. Tight 
Five might need a bit of a clean on this one. It feels a bit, a bit slidey more than normally, but pretty good for a demo. Right, oh, so now my favourite of all cars. Um, I like the Group C slotted cars. This is my favourite. Toyota, nice shape, nice chassis, run them all standard, we just run um, MJK tyres on the back of them, and we race them like that, it's really competitive class, um, everybody loves them and um, makes good close racing, and um, we um, get pretty serious, but it's all still fun, so um, I'm going to do a few laps of this one for you and show you how it goes. On this track, um, there's a couple of guys that run some pretty fast Group C cars. Uh, I have to bring this one out to keep up with them, and sometimes I get a slight win, but that's the best competitive close racing that I've ever seen here on my track. Um, everybody gets enthusiastic about it. It's brilliant. Cars are good out of the box, as everybody knows. Just throw a set of tyres on them, and away you go. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll keep posting videos and bits and pieces of the track alterations and cars and things. So um, thanks guys, we'll catch you again.